Good morning. Oh, one verse. Uh huh. <laughs> A lot to say about it. <laughs> Actually, I I love Isaiah because Isaiah Isaiah uh, speaks God's word. I mean, the God's word is just poured out to him. Bam. Yep. <laughs> he says, uh, right. Right here, um, Isaiah fifty-seven fifteen says, For this is what the, the high and lofty one says, He who lives forever, whose name is holy. I live in a high and holy place, but also with him who is contrite and lowly in spirit. You know what he is talking about there? A contrite heart is a repentative heart, a sorrowful heart, and lowly in spirit is the pride. When, uh, when we sit down and we give for, ask for forgiveness, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about he, the Holy Spirit that comes to live with us when, when we repent and give our lives over to him. But, but then he says, I'm back up again, I live in the high and holy place, but also with him who is, who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lonely, lowly, and to revive the heart of the contrite. This is about surrendering our heart to Him, surrendering our life to Him, giving it over to Him, and He's going to revive us. Let Him pick us up. Let Him, let him raise us up to that lofty place. Not where we raise it up and feel prideful, and, but when we surrender it over to Him and let Him raise us up. I like, I like that scripture there on Hosea on the third day he will raise us up when he raises us up then then we have a reason we have a reason to shout we have a reason to glorify that's what this table's about is just surrendering it all giving it all over to him letting go the pride is the biggest thing we we can be prideful there is good pride but that pride is the Lord, what the Lord's done in our lives. The pride is, is Him shining in us, not anything we've done. That's where we need to... And there's also a pride. We, we had talked about this on Thursday. There's a pride we have when, when we see our children or our friends or people around us come to the Lord. And, it's, and because we shared, because we shared Christ with them, that they had come. There's, there's a pride in that and a boasting in that. There's a goodness about it. But it's always done in the Lord. It's always done in the Lord. We just need to look inside. We just need to look inside and see if we're being too prideful. See what we're hanging on to. See what's holding us back. And let go of it. Because he's got a book here full of promises. Full of promises of life. Life that he gives us. Life that he gives those who just surrender and let him. He wants us to be totally dependent on. Totally dependent on him. And if we just give it over, we can see what our lives can be. It's not about the lofty worldly things, but it's about the lofty spiritual things. He will raise us up. Father, we just, we thank you, Father. We thank you and praise you for all that you do, Lord, all that you're working in our lives, Lord. All of your promises, Lord. If we just let go, Lord, and just give it all over to you, Sometimes uh, the situations are still there, but we're lifted out of it. We're lifted above it, Lord, because we know. We know that it's only momentary. We know that we're the flower quickly fading, a vapor in the wind, Lord. But um, you hold our eternity, Lord. And when we can let go of the things around us, Lord, and, and cling to the eternal, then, then nothing separates us from you, Lord. We just thank you, Father, for who you are and who you, who you want us to be, Lord. Help us to see the things holding us back. Help us to give them over to you, Lord, and, and just to cling to the life that you have for us, that others may see who you are, Lord, and others may live, Lord. We just ask, Lord, that you would bless this offering, Lord, and that you would multiply it, Lord, to further your kingdom 
to touch lives around you, around us, Lord. We thank you, Father, and we just ask that you bless the giver and bless those who cannot give. It's the heart you're after, Lord. Search the hearts, Lord, and reveal those things to us, Lord, that we would be free of them, that we would be letting them go and, and just clinging to you, Lord, with all that we are. In Jesus' name, amen.